Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Underrated Cricketers. Today we're going to talk about Darren Lehman. Interesting thing is, he's better at bowling in international cricket, but he's better at batting in first class cricket. Look at that first class average, 57.8. So when people say he can't bat in international cricket, he could bowl in it, which is very ironic. 27.5 and 27.8 with the ball versus 35. He could provide a solid innings for his team and then bowl well to finish it up. Very underrated. From the 2000s, there's so many cricketers that missed out because there was just so much competition. And Darren Lehman is one of them. Now, in the underrated cricketer series, others are, are featured in this. So if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Well, when people say that Lehman's a poor batsman, consider the fact that he can also bowl. And Darren Lehman, I know people, selectors may have been said, well, he's inconsistent. Why is he better at bowling in internationals but batting in domestic? But I think he should get picked as an all-rounder. But also, if he's good at one or the other, as long as he's delivering results for the team, I think that's what at the end of the day is important. Now, in traditional days, I guess, like a long way back, you'd either be a batsman or a bowler or a wicket keeper, and you can only be able to do one. And fielding was just a, you know, yes, you just stand out there in the sun and only catch it if it's coming directly towards you. Nowadays, you can be bowler, batsman, fielder, wicket keeper, all good at all four of those. And... Is looked at differently. So I think multiple skills, all-rounders, that's the issue with underrated people are, a lot of them are gonna be under all-rounders. And it's kind of a shame that, but you get it. Well, the first really good all-rounders probably came around the early 70s into the 70s and 80s. And there still are great all-rounders and in between those areas as well. Darren Lehman, hopefully more people chat about him and he's not just known as that Australian coach who maybe made a couple of mistakes, but I reckon he was a very good coach After the bull tampering scandal it proves that I know this is gonna be very argued But proves that people can come back. He was really apologetic and It's sad that he really had to sit down as coach because he was a very good coach Justin Langer as well another great coach. I'm not going to compare the two. They could both great. You know, that's another thing in Darren Lehman being a good coach so if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps a lot. Also leave a comment and all that stuff. It's very important you do that. It helps the channel a lot. This underrated cricketer series is pretty big. There's also other topics as well. Now, if you say this channel uploads multiple topics and you don't like that, well, we do have playlists assorting the different topics out. So that's pretty easy. And I'm going to say thanks for watching, leave you to it, share your thoughts in the comments, the next underrated cricketer you want to see, I have some planned episodes coming up soon.